Brandon Halsey, in winning the belt at 185, has dominated fighters on the ground, but he's fought guys that were more of the striking mold. He hasn't taken on a guy like Kendall Grove who has made his living on the ground. That build, that frame, allows you to do things that other people can't do, especially on the ground. You can never get comfortable. You can never feel that I'm in good position, I can just unload and not worry about it. You can't do it with a guy like that. So it makes sense in terms of stylistically, it's a big challenge for Brandon Halsey. It's not a guy that, oh, it's a kickboxer, as soon as we're on the ground, I've got this guy. He can take him down. He can maybe keep him there. But I don't see Halsey trying real hard to pass guard. He's going to sit and guard and try and do damage. So I think Kendall Grove can take a lot of risks going for a lot of submissions without the worry of this guy's going to out-technique me and take advantage of the mistakes I make on the ground. For Kendall Grove, the key is stay aggressive on the feet. Have faith in your jujitsu. You'll be all right on the ground. On the feet, let him fly. Number two, stay aggressive on the bottom. Make him worry about your submission so he can't set up his ground and pound. For Brandon Halsey, stay low, stay based, and really unload with that ground and pound. Number two is he has to be ready to keep the pressure on the entire 25 minutes. It's just another fight to you. To the challenger, it's the biggest fight of their career. We haven't seen how Brandon Halsey deals with adversity. Against Kendall Grove, he has to deal with adversity.